from? Um, DeAndre Harris. I'm from Suffolk, Virginia. It's like Tidewater area, 757 area. Yeah. I moved out here two years ago to fulfill my career in the special education field. I'm an instructional assistant at Charlottesville High School in a special education classroom. So are you one to normally like show up to these and, and nah, try the last to start one, fights or anything The last like that? one they had, I didn't even come. Yeah. The last one they had, I didn't even come. Yeah. But I was like, this one, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna come and voice my opinion. Look at my stuff, yo. My stuff was still there oh from yesterday, gosh. bro. Yeah. I, can't, uh, I just came out here to voice my opinion and, and stand up for what I believe in. I don't believe in that KKK and Nazi shit, man. Um, Black Lives Matter, man, you know what I'm saying? So I just came out here to voice my opinion. What was what was the scene that was happening? What was going on? We were just all standing here, and then we was walking down as they were walking down, and then I think we got like right here, and they just rushed us. Where, so, where's here? Since, yeah, yeah, like right here in this open way right here. So right in front of the the police station is right here. Mm -hmm. What's that building that's right right across the street? I don't there? know what that building oh, okay. is, but that's that's, that's, where you said it. that's why I said it to get my oh, help though. <laughs> that's where you took that picture at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what that building is, but that's where I got the help at. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's crazy, G. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, we see them rushing, and then I turn around and I start running, and I think I fall. I fall over here. And this is when you fell into the the, bar the parking arm? Yeah, I think I fell into that, and I guess I broke it when I, when I ran into it. I was already unconscious, though. I was in and out, just fading in and out, and I get up again, and I try to run. And I fall back down to the ground. And then I got up again and I tried to run again. I keep hearing all this chaos going around on me and I, and I feel myself getting hit. So I'm trying to get up and run, but I can't. Every time I got up, I just lose consciousness and fall back out. Till the last time I, I got to open my eyes and I see all my friends there and they pick me up and take me over there so I can get help. I was gassed in the head, broke my wrist, chipped my tooth. Oh, wow. Bust my lip, got a bunch of cuts and abrasions all on my, on my knees and elbows. I got eight staples in my head. Did you did you have hot uh, like hospital bills? Yeah, yeah, I got the GoFundMe up. Yeah. So yeah. help help me pay for my uh, hospital bills. Um, you can find the GoFundMe on my Facebook. Dre uh, Harris. Don't, uh, don't worry, I'll put that up. <laughs> it's not a problem there. Um, and and so have. Uh, so after we're, after this happened, you were brought over because all the all the, the white supremacists were still around and the police weren't really showing up. The police didn't show um, up until I already got rescued yeah. by my friends. Yeah. And but you were hauled off to um, for your protection into the into the elevator uh, into the staircase over here. Yeah, the to parking the, lot. to the staircase. And that was well, yeah. 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 Well, yeah, the other one of the other guys who was bloody. Was and it's crazy, too, so, bro, because I, I I barely remember that. Yeah, I barely remember anything that happened for real, man. I remember being here, and I remember trying to get up and falling again, getting up and try to falling again. Yeah, and it just it just. So how long um, from the time that time that police knew because there was a police blocking police officer blocking the the door from everybody going up that staircase so they knew you were severely injured um, how long before you got any sort of medical attention from anybody other than just your friends till I got over there I mean I remember it being a about lady came up 25 to minutes someone came up to me I don't remember who it was but it was like it was just a regular person. They yeah. came up to me and it was like, we gotta get you to help, we gotta get you to help. They have medics over here, they have medics over here. It was a guy, he was dressed in like all black. Yeah. He had like a black jacket Probably the Antifa uh, medics that they have. Yeah, all he, was like, he was like, he was like, he was like, we can go right over here. And they took me over there, sat me down and that's why I started receiving medical attention. And it still took at least 10 minutes for police to start showing up. Yeah. My friends were screaming for the police and screaming for help. It took at least 10 minutes for police to show up. Yeah. Any, nope. like, were you brought by an ambulance or did you? Yeah, uh, you? they had um, like an ambulance truck. Okay. They took me to, um, uh, where'd they take me? To McIntyre. Yeah. And I think they had um, like medics there in a tent. Yeah. But they told me that my, my wounds, they, they couldn't treat there. So then they had to rush me no, to no, Martha Jefferson. Yeah. So I was at Martha Jefferson for about 30 minutes to an hour getting treatment. Yeah. 
Yep, eight staples, broken wrist, chip tooth. Can you, how do you feel? How do you feel being in this town now? Mm, man, I don't even know if I'm safe in this town anymore, yeah. man. My face is all over the internet. So what if what if what if some some KKK people that live in the town yeah. see my face all over the internet and see me walking around in the mall or something and, and attack me there? You know? Do you it's feel? Just like, I mean, I, 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 it's, it's, Loaded rhetorical question: Do you feel that the police are have have they reached out to you to no. provide protection? No, no one department? from no one from the city of Charlottesville, nor the police department has reached out to me, yeah. and my face is all over this, all over yeah. social media. That go my man right there. <laughs> they, they, my face is all over social media. It's nowhere in hell that the city of Charlottesville and the police department of Charlottesville has no way to get in touch with me yeah. because my face is everywhere. Only up, What's up, my man? I don't know. This man came to my rescue too, man. Nice to meet you. Thanks for doing that. Um, and, uh, and so, are you, are you, you going to stay in town? Or are you gonna yeah, in? man, this is my home, man. Yeah. Ain't nobody going to run me out of my home, man. What, what, do you want, what, what do you say to people that... You know, now that they've seen these photos and they've seen what this free, these free speech rallies Yo, it's, do. A, it's out here, guys. Y'all, you got to be aware, dog. Like, it's really people out here that hate people to the point where they really want to kill them. Like, I could have lost my life yesterday if it wasn't for these guys right here, man. Like, I could have been beaten to a pulp right there, man. That, and that's just, every time I look at the video and, and I just think about it, it just... It just blows me, man, because it's like they, they put a, a collage together of a 1960s picture yeah, that, and yeah. then my picture, and it's like, what the fuck, yo? Yeah, you throw, I, I actually, when I first saw that photo, I almost threw it into black and white, but then I, I thought, no, it would, right, people yeah. would think that outside of maybe the parking meter, you know, being right. clearly tech, new technology, it's like, they throw it in there. It's, and I have, I, your picture is so amazing, people are telling me that it's Photoshop, man. I've, I've gotten that a lot. I mean, that's why like I'll post I'll post the full sequence uh, now that I've, I've... Yo, that's crazy, bro. Look at all my blood out here, G. Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, you've seen, right you seen the photos. And this all came from my head, dog. Yeah. So what, can you describe your, your injuries again? Uh, I have eight staples in my head. You see that? <laughs> Got the eight staples in my head. I was almost gone. They was telling me I lost too much blood. It's, they were telling me I'm lucky. I broke my wrist right here. I have a chipped tooth right here. Chip my tooth. I have a busted lip. I have a cut above my eyebrow that could have possibly almost got stitched up, but they said it wasn't enough to get stitched. And I just have cuts and abrasions on my knees and on my elbows. I ran over to the cops. And I, I have a concussion. That's what they like. And I see. And just head injury. Would you would you mind walking me over to the uh, staircase there? And that's what I'm saying. Y'all gotta walk with me because I don't even know where to join that. Yeah. Blue yeah. elevator. Blue elevator. Oh, I know. Coming, bro. I got you. They 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 carried me over here. Yeah. After I was beat, my friends that came to my rescue carried me and brought me over here first. I'm all, I'm bleeding out of my head. I'm losing blood. They came over here. I don't know if they cleaned it up, but I can't see that. Stand here. My blood. My blood. All up here. Yeah. And I was sitting all the way up here. I was all the way up here. And they came through. And they out there bump our stuff trying to get in. Look, blood. And I have to protect them. Blood all right here. All my blood, G. I was sitting down, I was asking for water, and then I remember, um, I seen a guy in all black, he came, and he was like, uh, they have medics over here, and we went across the street to, to the medics, and this lady named Karen, I don't know her last name, but I really appreciate you, Karen, you really helped me out, you really helped me to stay awake, I was fading out, I was almost gone, and if it wasn't for Karen, I, I probably wouldn't be here, she really kept me awake, and kept me calm. Now, can we, would you mind walk me over from yeah. perspective yeah. of how close we are to, and, um, 
after the guy in all black came and got, they all grabbed me from out of there. We were trying to find a, a place to recover. And then we crossed the street here. He got blood still over here. He found his towel. Look at these are the towel he got. Yeah, yo. Look, I found my towel and my jacket, yo. It's still all over here. Yeah. I got the shirt in the car. And I came over here. Here's my mask right here. I was sitting right here. This is where you took that picture at. Yeah. My I took blood. the picture with you. I have to stick in my hand. And I was sitting here. Here's the towel right and here. It, it, it took at least 10 minutes for police to come. It took at least 10 minutes for police to come. I'm, I'm sitting here 10 minutes with blood leaking, nah, gushing out my minutes, head. Bro. Longer than 10 minutes? It was longer than 10 minutes. Because I kept yeah. And all, out, I, all I can yelling hear, at the cops, like, all I can hear is these guys me. just calling for help and calling for help. And the line of cops standing right there just, just looking. And, and the fact that all of this is happening 10 feet away from the police department. Yeah, just, but can you walk me up? Let's just crazy. actually walk, walk the distance. It's just crazy. The police department is right here. I was attacked right there. I was brought to treatment right here. And the police department was right here. And it took them more than 10 minutes to come to my rescue after I was already rescued by my friends. And now, have they have they taken a statement from you or no, done anything? I haven't been reached out. Nobody's reached out from the city of Charlottesville, nor the police department. And my face is all over the internet. And I was just being interviewed by Fox, and I was right here talking to the police. Like, I got attacked yesterday. Where were you guys? You guys didn't help. Nobody's reached out to me. It's just crazy, man. It's, it, started, it made me think, like, what are they here for? Why is this building here? They didn't care. They didn't care. They didn't care, man. They didn't care at all.